octopus, the octopus, the octopus, the octopus, the octopus, the octopus. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out Michael Cole's greatest one-liners. Now, I know some people are not a fan of Michael Cole's commentary. Me personally, I feel like his commentary has, in my opinion, improved especially initially when uh vince mcmahon had retired from wwe uh it seemed like he had the opportunity to kind of say things more freely and it came off organic he has had some fantastic calls i know obviously he's not a jr when it comes to the play-by-play -play, but the dude has had some great moments one of my favorite calls, one of my favorite moments from him is WrestleMania 30, Daniel Bryan in the main event with Batista and uh, Randy Orton in the triple threat match. And he had Batista in the yes lock and he's going crazy on commentary. S just going insane. Tap out Batista. Tap out Batista. Just one Batista to tap out. Hearing Michael Cole in the side in daniel bryan's corner is it's it was it was surreal because we all know at one point daniel bryan was was the miz nxt rookie and obviously uh michael cole was a big nx uh miz fan so he didn't like daniel bryan because the miz didn't like him so to see that to see him commentate wanting batista to tap out in the way he did tap out batista to have daniel bryan win it it was it was a cool moment man so we're gonna check out some of his best one-liners man appreciate all the love and support we're gonna get right into this one man some is his son He's been the lead announcer of SmackDown, Raw, and WWE as a whole. Michael Cole can be heard during some of the company's greatest moments. He's a trusted and familiar voice, and throughout his long tenure in wrestling, Cole has established numerous trademark phrases mm -hmm. that he regularly repeats. We'll highlight them today as we list the top 10 Michael Cole catchphrases. Before we kick off the list, we'll cover a few honorable mentions. Cole was renowned for trying to convince us that The Undertaker's streak was all over, just before the Phenom managed to kick out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Th that was a that was a good uh, that great match. Oh, I still get goosebumps off that. Michael Michael Cole and Jr. commentating on this was fantastic, but I still get goosebumps because I legit believed the streak was over there. I was like, oh, this is it. This is how it ends. I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it. Oh my god. Rester's entrance music sets the tone for the character that's about to come out, something the announcers can further enhance with their commentary. Cole perfectly set the stage for Sheamus and the Brawling Brutes by it's shouting fight out, night. it's fight night as they entered. It is fight night! It's fight night! <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, it's, it's kind of cringe when he says it, but it's just out of nowhere. It's <laughs> fight night. It's fight night. To cover up a botch or someone only making partial contact with their opponent, Cole and other commentators would know how the wrestler performing the move didn't get all of it. <laughs> She didn't get all of it. It's become a meme at this point, given how often it's said. I don't think Seamus got all of it, John. He definitely did. Get all of it. There were also a number of times where Cole would be the one to botch. Elias now has dinner where he wants him into the drift away. Did you just call him? Hold on. Wait, what? There were also a number of times where Cole would be the one to botch. Elias now has dinner where he wants him into the drift away. Did you just call him dinner? That's <laughs> Edge versus Edge. I must have missed that match. Did y'all see that? <laughs> it was his former best friend, his tag team partner. Edge versus Edge. When did that match happen? Y'all let me know down below because I must have missed that match, man. I bet that was a classic. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> no, that's it's not right. <laughs> what did it say? What is up with him <laughs> putting the same person against themselves? Quite what? honestly, I'm not very good at this part of it, so I'm going to leave it to you, even though, I mean, a lot of people think you're not very good at it, so <laughs> get on with it. <laughs> I said at the beginning of the video, some people don't think Michael Cole is good, but I, I think he's done a fine job the past few years. Michael, thanks, thanks. Before we begin, today's sponsor is Proton VPN. Hey, shout out to you, man. Get in your bag, bro. I'm, I'm happy for you, bro. <laughs> me. Can you get it? You gotta be kidding me! You have gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me is mm -hmm. a go to line for Cole when he's either surprised. What the? Oh my god, are you kidding me? No. This was a great moment, too. These guys ego boggle. You gotta be kidding me! I see a, I see a ghost! You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! Or when he's selling the importance of a shocking moment. Oh. No. One of the best endings to a Monday Night Raw ever. I don't care what nobody say. And I'm glad it happened in Houston. I'm always going to say that. But it's easily one of the best Monday endings to a Monday Night Raw ever. One of them. Not the best. But one of them. For sure. You gotta be kidding me! Oh, oh. Kidding me? <laughs> that was a crazy ass match and spot. <laughs> oh my god. This one right here. Whoop! Oh my god! Cole Saxton, alright. You gotta be kidding me. High five. You gotta be kidding me! Number nine through the table. Oh, this doesn't look Oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a wrestler was put through a table, Cole was always on hand to state the fact in order yeah. to make the moment feel more impactful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my. I'm going to be honest with you. Even though there was a crash pad in under the table, which they had to have, obviously, that's still kudos to Shane for willingly doing that. No matter if there's a crash pad or not, that's still insanity. I just want y'all to understand. He's still it it it, it's, it cushioned the landing, but there's still some impact there. We gotta go check that again. I will always still give Shane credit. Once again, I don't I don't want nobody jumping from the top of the sail. And you know, as I've gotten older, I don't want nobody jumping from the top of the sail through a just solid table, no crash mat under it. No, there needed to be some type of inflatable something to slow down the fall. Because look at this again. Just look at this. Look at look at the height. Oh my god. That part for the love of mankind. I, that was that was just too that was we get it. It was in a reference to mankind, but I thought that was a little bit too hokey. I'm gonna just be honest with you. Just exploded through our table. Oh my god. So crazy. Number eight. Here comes the big dog. The big dog. The big dog. Oh, Open brother. Is a key when establishing a wrestler's nickname. In the case of the big dog, Roman Reigns, Cole got this moniker over by repeating it again and again. Oh, oh brother. Big dog. The big dog. And here comes the big dog. No, he <laughs> he is not the best version of Roman Reigns at all. If some would say the worst, and I'm right there with you. 
Oh, every time I hear the big dog, no. We need the tribal chief. That's what we need. <laughs> the big dog. Here comes the big dog. Oh. Here comes the big dog. 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 <laughs> Number seven, not this way. Not, yep. Not this way. Yep. <laughs> One of the times you could really feel the emotion Ooh. in Cole's commentary was when a baby yep. face was being screwed. <laughs> yep. Not this way, yep. This Bro, way. That, that, I will say that. When he does the not this way, I'll give it to him. He really gives that that sympathy like not like this oh i love it michael <laughs> to yell not this way as the wrestler was about to lose their match Oh, brother. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. That that just took the just took the energy out of me. Oh, my God. That, oh, they need to fix that. <laughs> they need to fix it at next year's WrestleMania. The six, it's boss time. When Sasha when was there. Sasha Banks made her entrance. Fans were just waiting for Cole to say the line. It's boss time. What time is it? It's boss time. It's boss time. It's boss time. <laughs> it's boss time. The phrase is a reference to Bruce Springsteen. What time is it? It's boss time. <laughs> it perfectly for Sasha. The catchphrase was a great way to establish Banks as the boss, while at the same time being a fun spot for Cole, to the point where it felt weird on the occasions Cole wasn't there to say it. Sammy's huge in box one. It's boss time. It's boss time. It's boss time. But it's boss time. <laughs> I'm say that, Michael. Guess what, guys? Guess what, guys? Oh, thanks, Cole. Wait a minute. It's boss time. Is it boss time now? Huh? Is it boss time now? <laughs> Number five, funniest calls. Cole was mostly the straight man on commentary during the initial part of his career, with some funny stuff sprinkled in from time to time. Stone Cold, are you ready to enter hell next? Uh, <laughs> I like how he just hit him with the. You would have to kiss Owen's backside if you lost it. Are you ready? Just what? You're fixing to kiss my ass. <laughs> this isn't traditional steel cage. A young Michael Cole. You get a finger caught in there. A finger so caught in there. Reverse now. Seriously, what the? Oh! What the hell? Come on! What are you, an idiot? But Michael's oh! trying to Oh damn, bro! He <laughs> Damn, that boy Taz didn't know it hit him. Holy! Seriously, what look at this! Oh, oh what the God hell? damn! On, what are you, an idiot? But Michael started. Well, one more time, one more time, because that was funny, bro. Seriously, what the, oh, <laughs> what the hell? Come on, what are you, an idiot? But Michael started to show his true comedic talents after turning heel in 2010. <laughs> On many occasions, completely burying the women's version of NXT. We're in the middle of a conversation, pal. The, the reason I said pudding is because one of the coal miners texted me and wants to know how many times I can use the word pudding in the show tonight. Boring. Bro. Boring. Bro, he was, he was insufferable. Thank you for Don't those of you voting at home. Start. Please eliminate <laughs> me from this broadcast. Ripley, <laughs> he one, was on the call. Cool, I think he was dead serious. <laughs> show is bad with or without you but thank you for coming <laughs> he said uh, it's bad with or without you thank you for coming <laughs> riveting so far it has been Ray riveting Paul punk here. what a Michael show it's been back riveting back action yeah. <laughs> somehow survived the hour well almost an hour what do you think 
Uh, I think this is the greatest night of my life. <laughs> it's not sure it will be a very technical, very sound, scientific <laughs> matchup here tonight in our main event on Bro, NXT. Bro, CFO saying this show is bad with or without you. <laughs> you got Vicky Guerrero. Oh, a spear! Got a spear! 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 It was the damnedest spear I've ever seen. We'll take a look now at some of what the hell why i don't know about this i may need to check out a compilation of michael cole on nxt commentary i need to find me a clip there gotta be a compilation of that because that shit's gold i didn't even know he was doing this all's funniest calls and moments over oh the my years. god of men on top of me. <laughs> oh my god, what a softball. But, but Dolph asked for this fight. He certainly got it. He I, I had uh, 500 pounds of men on top of me. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you guys let this kid get out of control. This kid is an absolute piece of what? shit. What's your mouth, Michael Cole? <laughs> he actually, I forgot he actually did. <laughs> What's the name of Pat McAfee didn't catch it in time, bro? He actually low-key said it. It's absolutely no way! You gotta be kidding me! I guess there's a reason he doesn't do that often. Top Dollar is a flippy, floppy competitor, to Mike. Uh, he flops. Flop. I don't know about flips. All right, Cole, quickly take dollar. your pick. Who's winning this one? Uh, top Dollar. Why? Because he can't go over the top rope. Rey Mysterio not sucking off anybody. Jerry Lawler has bruised ribs and yep. he's also suffering from... From anal bleeding. <laughs> what? Matchup that is. Fucking see, like, what? Stand by, Jolly Rancher. Keep on sucking. <laughs> Number four. What? Can I have your attention, please? Uh, uh, Can I have your attention? Please? Oh, nah, he was unbearable at this point. Oh, Paul my was perhaps God. perhaps the most bro. entertaining as a heel, where he acted oh, as the spokesperson for the anonymous war I general manager. Take it. I have just received an email from the anonymous. Raw general manager. I've just received an email from the anonymous Raw general manager on my iPad. During this time, he established catchphrases such as, Can I have your attention, please? Oh, Can I have your attention, please? This is oh, no. just awful, bro. Can I have your attention, please? And I quote, And I quote, and I quote, and I quote. We knew you would. It was just what Cole <laughs> needed to make the fans despise him that bit more. Oh. I just received an email from the anonymous Raw General Manager. It's what helped him become one of the biggest heels in the company throughout 2010 and 2011. Did I have your attention, please? Yes! He's back! Cole took pride in reading the emails while annoying both wrestlers and fans. I just... <laughs> Anonymous Raw General Manager. Michael Cole, shut up! That's probably the best thing Vince has done. One of the best things Vince has ever done. Michael Cole, shut up! We gotta run it back. Whoa, whoa. Oh. No, you idiot. Just read it. Oh. Anonymous Raw General Manager. Michael Cole, shut up. <laughs> it got Michael a lot of booze and led to some funny moments on screen. Can I have your attention, please? I just received an email from the Raw Anonymous General Manager. And I quote, I have received an email. <laughs> Quote. I have I just have received, received an email. email. The anonymous oh, Jerry, well, yeah. Michael Cole <laughs> has a special moment every time he gets a sensual late night email from the <laughs> guest manager of uh, Monday Night Raw. Number three, <laughs> vintage. <laughs> the game Triple H. Oh, 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 I told you. 
Andrew King. There, ladies and gentlemen, is vintage Shawn Michaels. If someone began to hit their signature or most mm -hmm. popular moves, there was a good chance Cole would say oh. vintage, followed by the wrestler's name. <laughs> this was a good way to teach new viewers about a wrestler's trademark offense, while also being a vehicle to emphasize the most effective part of the competitor's arsenal. And ladies and gentlemen, vintage. Cody Rhodes, second generation superstar, runs into the vintage knee. Vintage. <laughs> The phrase was made light of numerous times, <laughs> which in turn led to some funny moments. I heard great quotes like, oh my, vintage Michael Cole. <laughs> Give us four Irish whiskey. Vintage Finley. Don't you drink that. Vintage Puck. <laughs> what? Vintage Vinegar Church. will be the top condiment selling condiment sorry jr preach right here is is, is vintage maxine right here it's vintage maxine <laughs> yeah. like one match it's vintage truth right now <laughs> and the mush vintage our truth bro i like how everyone made it a joke vintage our truth <laughs> you just got schooled by vintage cole the catchphrase became oh quite recognizable to where now if a wrestler hits some of their signature moves, many fans can't help but think of Cole's iconic line. This could do some damage. Yes. Vintage Undertaker. I had a feeling you'd say that. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd say that. You already used your Vintage Undertaker line. Trying to shake the cobwebs. Whoa. Oh my God. Vintage LA. Number two. Vintage oh my. LA. Oh my. Joey Styles had Oh My God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they all had by God. Uh huh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Booker T liked to say, oh my goodness. Michael Cole chose not to take the Lord's <laughs> name in vain, resulting in one of Cole's most repeated and famous catchphrases. Oh. 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 Yo. Yo, hold on. We got to go back to that, bro. His lower back just went straight into the edge of the table. Holy. Resulting in one of Cole's most repeated and famous catchphrases. Oh. Oh. Oh my was oh. heard most frequently when a wrestler made their return. Oh my. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cole couldn't get enough of saying this line. It was something he'd say a lot naturally before it eventually stuck, allowing him to recite it all the time. Oh my! There's a lot of Jericho is returns. It, is, it <laughs> is it really? Oh my! Could it be? It is! Is it? Can it be? It is! Come on! It can't be! It can't, it can't be! Is it? Is it? No. Is it? Is it? <laughs> Number one, best calls. Cole has provided the lyrics to countless epic moments throughout his career. Mm -hmm. When we think back to such occasions, we remember their significance. <laughs> Meanwhile, Cole's tremendous commentary made these moments feel extra special. So let's now highlight some of Cole's greatest calls. Yep. Great moment. There we go. There we go. I knew they had to have it in here. Yes. Tap out Batista. Tap out Batista. Oh my God. Oh. Great. 
great. It's so great. Heist of the century, yep. 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 Oh my! I had the same reaction. This nigga Michael Cole lost his voice. I remember I was doing a live stream for this, and this nigga Joy came out. I was like, "What the hell? Holy! <laughs> Let's listen." He lost his. He was losing his voice. I did the same thing, Michael Cole. This is to retain the title. Sammy Sammy checked out. This was so good. This was such a good match. Oh my god, that match was so good for night one. The main event night one uh this year's WrestleMania. Oh my god, they put on a fucking classic match. It's ever, ever kicked out of the one day. And then that's the crazy thing. No one's kicked out of it. And he kicked out of it, bro. That's when I knew this is they they they're dropping the titles tonight. Oh, this was so good. We gotta check that one more time. It's goose bump and deuce. One D, one D to retain the title. Sammy Sammy checked out of the one day. No, he no one's ever ever kicked out. <laughs> One day, now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out a similar video on the top 10 great. Oh, this was fantastic. I love this video. I got to go ahead and give it a like, man. Y'all definitely go go show wrestling flashbacks some love if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, man. This is fantastic. Got to give respect to Michael Cole. He's had some fantastic, legendary calls over the years, man. Uh, comment down below your favorite call from Michael Cole, like his your favorite commentary from him during a, a particular match i've already listed mine uh wrestlemania 30 with daniel bryan main event uh wrestlemania 30 with uh uh batista and uh randy orton and him tapping out batista and his his commentary on that let me know what's your favorite commentary uh from michael cole in any particular match let me know down below man but i appreciate all love and support road to 150k and i'm still getting speedy to rest and shepherd the world appreciate y'all keeping me see you next one peace